There we go. So welcome everybody who's on watching us. Um, I'm Corey Walmsley and this is Carissa. She is our PR expert and I'm going to let her introduce herself in a moment. Um, I've been interviewing some people in my group, talking to them about their role as part of my, uh, my new my new book, Alchemy Program, which I'm just now launching for pro, uh, professionals who want to get a book out and build a relationship with their audience, but they want all the pieces put together so they don't have the hassle of going from place to place and trying to figure things out. They come in and it's all very streamlined because we know what to offer them and just set everything up easily so there's no stress. Um, so I'm going to let Carissa go ahead and introduce herself. And um, Carissa, if you could just tell us a little bit about your business, about what you do, and how you help people, that'd be great too. Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Carissa. I own Carissa Lauren Collective here in Pittsburgh, uh, though we work with professionals all over the country. I specialize in building brand and professional awareness, typically through publicity or digital media efforts. Uh, so anything from newsletters to social media to press pitches, press releases, that's all our area. Um, I also focus on polishing and positioning brands and pro professionals before they're ready for PR. So essentially helping them build their brand awareness and the brand building stages before they begin. Awesome. Um, and that sort of stuff is important. I know usually usually with any sort of marketing or, you know, projects or anything, we're always like, oh yes, jump right in, here we go. But having that background is important too. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? And I think that's part of what you're doing in the program too, right? Oh yeah. So um, whenever we begin the program, first I want to make sure any professional author, brand or business, they have everything that they need before beginning press. So I always recommend have your professional headshots, have a logo if that applies to you, um, you know, or a high resolu resolution copy of your book image, the cover, because press always requests that. Um, make sure your social media presence is up, active, um, you know, keep your professional headshots and your LinkedIn pages up. So those are sort of the things that I always recommend before even beginning a publicity campaign. Um, and of course, that's something that press and media contacts will request as we're moving forward in that process. Okay. Um, so why is it so important for, um, I know some of the little bits and pieces, I don't want to spill everything that you're going to be talking about in the program, but um, why is it so important for people to have a good idea of what to expect when they're doing PR? So let's say a new author comes in and um, you know they have a brand, they've been building a little bit, but they haven't really gotten um, even regional reach yet. Why, why is it so important for them to have a basic understanding of PR? Um, it's important to be prepared because obviously to be featured in any sort of media, whether it's magazine, a blog, radio, or podcast, that's an honor. Um, and we really work among editors' schedules. So you need to present to them what they need as fast as possible. So sometimes I even get an interview request at, I think recently we had a KDK request at 5.30 and said, hey, can your client come on at seven this mm -hmm. evening? Um, and can you please provide their images, this and that? So you really wanna make sure you have all of that ready. We work within their schedules. Their schedules are more demanding. Um, so I also make sure to just have a time frame of when you can take interviews, have your availability ready, um, because it's it's all about the press and meeting their demand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I um, I used to work for Inspiring Lives Magazine. I was the executive editor, and that's actually how Carissa and I met. Um, and just speaking from that perspective of it, I know sometimes we would have people, um, you know, that was obviously where we were expecting articles. And we would sometimes have people say, um, you know, six weeks is not enough time for me to write an article. And I was like, well, I guess you're not going to be able to be in this issue. So having that plan ahead of time and knowing what to expect, um, I, I agree with you. That is ideal because it can be really tough if somebody comes to you and says, you know, we need this in a certain time frame, and you can't work within that. Um, so I wanted to know what are some of the biggest mistakes that you see people doing when they you know, start out looking, you know, let's say they're, they're wanting to get more PR for their, um, for their business. They want to 
get out there and get attention to their brand? What are some big mistakes that you see people doing? Uh, so launching a PR campaign before they're ready, which is why I always go through the process of please make sure you have your headshots, make sure your social media pages are polished, nothing inappropriate. Um, you know, make sure you have those professional headshots and everything in between, because the worst mistake anyone can make is launching before they're ready. Um, mm -hmm. So hiring, hiring on a publicist or taking on a PR campaign, pitching, but then not having the, the things that you need to really begin. Um, so another thing that I always recommend is whether it's for a book, a brand, a business, make sure you at least have a website or even for a book, I would always recommend maybe a landing page. That mm -hmm. way editors, um, people in your audience really know how to reach you. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine that would be really tough if you're pitching to somebody and they ask you for things and you're like, oh, my headshots aren't until May. <laughs> yep. That happens a lot. That's why I always go through that process before we work with anyone is, okay, let's get your photos. Let's schedule this. Let's schedule that and get everything taken care of. And it really helps them a lot. I think another thing that I try to make um, our, our professionals aware of is sometimes it can take a solid one to two months of just pitching before you start seeing press return and engagement. So I try to bring that to their attention up front. Um, but you know, the benefits really are so amazing just to have your story read and your movement spread. So just know what you're getting into, know that sometimes it's a process and be ready to meet any of their needs or expectations. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Um, is there, I want to say, do you want to draw the line? <laughs> um, but have you ever had uh, editors or you know people that you've pitched that they come back and they just give like crazy expectations? Because I know sometimes um, I'll, I'll reach out to somebody and you know I won't hear from them. Um, that's that's usually the you know the one end of it. But then on the other end, they might say, "Oh, you know, we need this article in a week." Is there anything that that is like, you know, you really have to draw the line there or um, you have to know what to, where your boundaries are or any of that kind of stuff? Um, typically press is really reasonable to work with. I haven't had any, any huge issues. Um, and, and obviously a publicist's job is really to communicate, and navigate the situation. So mm -hmm. anytime I'm communicating with press, I always get the client's availability uh, you know, have your availability, pitch a few dates for interviews. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, I mean, sometimes they will, they will email and say, are, are they available at seven? It's 530 now. And it's really just, are you available? And is it worth it to you? Would you, would you like to take on that press interview? Um, mm -hmm. So I think on the publicity end of things, our job is really just to try to meet those demands because at the end of the day, it's your own exposure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I, th I think that's all I wanted to ask about that one. Um, just because I've seen from my end of it on inspiring lives, I've seen some really crazy things come from, uh, people who want the exposure. Um, I've seen very wonderful, well-written things too, but I've also seen people come at me that are like all over the place and I have no idea what they're even asking. Um, yeah. So is there anything that you would suggest for people if they are reaching out to? PR? Yeah, we will definitely touch on that and go over that in your program, not to give too much away, um, yeah. but you really want to make sure your, your pitch is researched. So know your editor, know the platform that you're pitching. You wouldn't want to pitch to a music channel if you're presenting a new book, unless it were relevant. So make sure that it's really within your target audience, you're familiar with the stories that they feature um, and you stay within that audience because really we work for the editors. That's mm -hmm. our end of things. We really do try to meet whatever they need. Um, and you really wanna make sure you're respectful of their time as well. I think that's really good advice. Um, was there anything else that you wanted to share? I, we have a couple people on, but nobody's said anything yet. So we don't have any questions, but hello, everybody who's watching. <laughs> um, yeah, did you want to share anything else with the audience? Yeah, so <laughs> if you need any any questions, obviously you can reach, reach me through Corey's new program, Book Alchemy. We really look forward to working with everyone. 
Um, it, it will really review pitching, uh, who to pitch to, uh, really get to know your target audience in developing a good strategy before even beginning your campaign. Um, but if anything from this interview, I really hope before you begin PR, you have everything polished. So get those headshots, get your book cover done, um, have a few interview questions prepared, topics that you want to touch on, and just be prepared before you begin. And we look forward to helping you. And I can be reached at carissalauren.com. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and uh, after this is posted, we'll go ahead and put that in the comments too. And oh, we have we have people talking now. <laughs> um, hi, Allison. Um, oh, Allison says, uh, quiet here because I'm working at home, but soaking up the excellent info. Thank you. Um, well, we're glad this is really helpful to you, Allison. Um, if anybody else has questions, if you're watching the replay, obviously comment below and we'll get to you. If you need to tag us, we're both in the group here too. So you can tag us and we will respond. Um, but otherwise, uh, you know, if you have questions about the program, if you have um, questions about PR, obviously reach out to Carissa and we're both happy to help you out. Um, thank you for joining us and we'll talk later. Thanks everyone.